Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to your lesson five lesson for today. Um, I hope that you've really been enjoying our Don Quixote um, adventure unit, unit four, and just learning of stuff about his crazy, silly personality, and you've been enjoying it. So this is our day five of our um, unit, and I'm really excited because today we'll be identifying plot and different details and um, just the um, obstacles and challenges that Don Quixote and uh, Sancho encountered throughout these um, this lesson. Okay, so let's dive in. The first thing that we're going to do, and we always start with, if you know, boys and girls, is our core vocabulary. So today we're going to be reading chapters six through eight, and these are the core vocabulary words that we're going to see. So the first word is confounded. That means terrible or annoying. Um, also, we can find that on page 18. That's what that number means. Um, and then our next core vocabulary word is deceive. And that's to make someone believe something that is not true. So that's, you know, to deceive someone, to maybe deceive them and tell them you have done your homework, you guys, and when you know you haven't. And then another core vocabulary word is fortune. That means luck. So you can find a uh, fortune and maybe saving things and telling the truth. And then your next core vocabulary word is, is sexton, which is a person who takes care of church buildings and surrounding property. And then your last, last core vocabulary word is folks, which are people. Down below is charts, and they also tell us different stuff um, about where we can find our core vocabulary words and how they um, the phrases and sayings and the multiple um, meanings that they have for these words, okay? So let's continue to uh, proceed through our lesson. Okay, so we're going to finally, you guys, get to graciously read through um, chapters 6 through 8. So we're going to first start with chapter 6, which is back to La Mancha. So back to La Mancha, okay? Let's go. One day, Don... Um, Quixote decided to go into the mountains of Saria Mamraya for Marina for a while. He wanted to be alone to think of his love life, to think of his life in love, to gather his thoughts. Sancho was sent to deliver a letter to Deluncia, Deluncia, Deluncia. This Rogers is trying to figure it out, boys and girls. It was August now, almost a month since they had left home. The priest and the barber had taken taken to the road to find them, and Sancho ran into them. Sancho, where's your master? You haven't killed him, have you? The priest asked. Oh, no, your grace. My master is safe and sound deep in that mountain, Sancho said. He's just a little strange sometimes, talking to Lady Deluncha. You'll, you'll think she's right there next to them. Well, it's important for two of you to go back home, said the priest. His estate needs attention. You yourself would be better off helping your wife take care of the fields, the barber chimed in. With all due respect, you don't understand, Sancho said. Master and I go around writing things that are wrong in the wrong in the world and fighting evil. Sancho, Sancho, you're beginning to sound like your master. Of course we understand. That's why we want both of you to go home. There are wrongs to write at home to the priest said. Sancho, go back to the go back to the mountain. The barber commanded, take your master anything tell your master anything you like, but bring him down from the mountain. We'll wait at foot. Don't tell him you saw us. We'll go, we'll be in disguise when you come home. Sancho went to bring his master right here at the top of uh, page 17. The friends followed a short distance behind. They soon, they soon met a runaway young woman who, after a brief explanation, agreed to help in bringing the old gentleman home. Her assignment to play a um, princess, Miss uh, Machionia, who had come home all the way from Africa seeking Don Quixote's help. The story went like this. His father had been, been the, dethroned by a giant, a mean giant. She had heard about Don Quixote's bravery. She knew he was the only one who could help her. When she became queen, she had given him a huge reward. On hearing the tale, Don Quixote was de delighted. Sancho was astonished. An island to govern at last, he thought. The group came to an end. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to stop here and then pick back up on the next um video, okay?